Hi, my name is Dr. Justine Lee, and I'm an emergency critical care veterinary specialist and toxicologist. And today, I wanted to talk to you about feline hyperthyroidism. Now, that's a fancy way of saying that your cat's thyroid gland is too overactive. The good thing is, it's completely treatable. Now, what are some signs of an overactive thyroid? It could include weight loss or hyperactivity, a racing heart rate, sometimes open mouth breathing or panting after exercise, really high blood pressure or even acute blindness, weight loss despite having a ravenous appetite, or even increased urination or defecation where you notice bigger clumps in the litter box. If you notice any of those signs, get your cat to a veterinarian right away because there's really simple blood work that we can do to see if your cat's hyperthyroid. That's going to include a complete blood count, a chemistry panel, and what we call a thyroid test or T4. There's four main ways that you can treat feline hyperthyroidism. The most common way is with a once or twice a day medication called methimazole. It usually comes in five milligram tablets. And we usually start cats on half a tablet once to twice a day initially. You do have to pill your cat once or twice a day for the rest of the life though. The second way is by surgery, where we actually remove the thyroid gland. This is less commonly done, but is something that can be an option. The third way is by radioactive iodine, or more commonly called I-131. This is a way where we basically give an injection to your cat. Your cat is isolated or hospitalized for two weeks to make sure that you're not exposed to any radioactive iodine, and that's going to directly treat the hyperthyroidism. The fourth way is with a unique newer diet that basically helps treat the feline hyperthyroidism by changing the amount of iodine that they're exposed to. Now, if you do have your cat on this diet, you have to make sure they don't get any other snacks, otherwise the diet's not gonna work. When in doubt, make sure you know what signs to look for for hyperthyroidism, because the sooner you recognize it, the sooner we can treat it, and the less long-term complications that can develop. Talk to your veterinarian about getting your cat tested for it, and when in doubt, know that having a diagnosis of hyperthyroidism isn't a death sentence, it's really easy to treat.